Hello friends and everyone, welcome back to Netcode Hub Channel. I am Frederick and I'm happy to have you here today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate UI template that I have packaged as a NuGet package in your Blazor application. This package has some units such as sidebar, navbar, footer, and a lot. Let's get into it and I'm going to show you how to integrate this in your application. So I'm going to create a project here. So Blazor Web App. The name of the project here is Demo Blazor Breeze UI Template. So I'm going to choose a location for this. So click on Next. And now the interactive render mode, we want to maintain the server as you see here. Now click on Create. So now that the project has been created successfully, what we're going to do here is we're going to install um, the Breeze package here, that's a UI template. So we're going to dependencies, right click on this, and uh, manage NuGet packages. Click on the browse tab, and I'll type in netcode hub. Now we want to install this package. So this one, that is a netcode hub.packages.ui.template.breeze. So let's install this package. Click on install. Okay, so the package has been installed successfully. Now aside from that, we go to our WW root folder, we right click on this. We want to add bootstrap icon, so click on client side library. And then in here, we want to locate bootstrap icon. So let's wait for the restoration to be done. So we have it in here. Now we're going to rebuild the solution. So while this has uh, been built, we're going to add references to the package that we installed in the libraries. So we go to our component folder, open this and click on this app.razor. Now in here, where we have our references, we're going to add, let's add a bootstrap icon. So bootstrap icon slash font and then bootstrap dash icon dot main dot CSS. Aside from this, we need to install or we need to add references to the package or the team, the template that we installed. So um, we're going to also add this. And that is a contents slash netcode hub dot packages dot UI dot template. And now here we're going to install, we're going to add bootstrap dot mean dot CSS, star dot CSS and also material design icons. Okay, so we are also adding um, this in here. Now, aside from this, what we can do here is, since we are going to be using bootstrap icons, maybe we can get rid of this. So let's comment this for the meantime. Now, we need to also add the JavaScript files. So let's see from the JS. Let's put this on top of the um, framework file. Next, we have this content slash netcode hub dot packages dot ui dot template dot breeze. And now here we are located the JS file. So we have three files that we need to add bootstrap dot bundle. We have base and our settings dot JS. So we add this. All right. So now once you're done, we are done with uh, this. We're going to um, include the component itself. Now, for us to do this first, we have to um, create the layout. So go to the layout folder. And now from the main dot layout, we're going to scrap everything what we have in here because we're going to be using our own layout. So firstly, let's include the, the reference using netcode hub.packages.ui.template.breeze. Now aside from that, what we're going to do here is we need the uh, breeze main layout. 
Now, in this layout, you're going to have the inner layout specified as the inner template. Now, from this inner template, first, you're going to have the sidebar. So, you have the sidebar in here. And that is a sidebar template. And in that, let's have the sidebar brand. So, we have brand template in here. Now, aside from having this um, brand template with the brand, maybe we can be using some bootstrap um, classes in here with some icons that's a bootstrap icon that we installed so that's what we are using okay then we have this dashboard and now here we have this video as an icon aside from having the sidebar brand we must have the sidebar content so content template now in this template we need to you're going to be creating a component or we can actually add them here but for organization we're going to create um, a component so we can reference it in here Aside from that, that's the end of this side, um, this sidebar or the um, inner template. We are going to specify another component in here, and that is where we're going to include our body um, tag. Okay. So at the end of the sidebar, we're going to have the body template. Before we have the body template, you must have this nav bar template. Now, within this nav bar template, we can specify the team. So, we have this nav bar team. So, we have two types. We have dark and light. Let's choose dark first. Later on, we try the light as well. So once you're done with this, what we're going to do here is we have this body template that we need to specify. And that is where we have this body. Okay, so this is going to render out the component that you're going to make a reference to this. Now, aside from this, on the navbar, we're going to have navbar item end and start. So if you want to navigate or if you want to arrange or um, display any component or any um, um, HTML um, element, from the stats or end you can use this so let's see we're going to try that let's have a look in here we have this navbar template and uh, aside from that from the end of this body we can have there's a navbar start and you have navbar end so with this let's run this up and see how the template is going to look like all right so this is what we have you can see that we have this sidebar and we have this nav bar in here. Then we have a view that we can work with. And that's our um, editing or working page. Now, if I minimize this, let's check it out. Okay, now we have this. Now, this becomes what? Well, that is a sidebar as well for a mobile view. So, you can see we have it in this format. And now, if I minimize this, we have a dashboard. And we have the, that we can actually hide it. Now it is up to us for us to work on here. Let's try to create some buttons and, and some, uh, maybe we can use accordion and some um, list to actually create our buttons or our menus here. Okay. So in that I have, I just copied this. I created this component from um, bootstrap. So I name it a sidebar so from the pages let me paste it in there now that's a sidebar component so you see that I'm using this in an accordion from bootstrap and I did not do anything <laughs> just a few modifications to this okay so this is an accordion from um, bootstrap and this is in the grouping form so I have products and we have for the card so add update delete this is just a template so it doesn't contain any function at, uh, for now, okay? It's a template. Aside from that, we, see we have categories. Then we have... That is a sales. Aside from that, we have this list. And that is a payment, report, orders, and settings. So we see that this... This do not have any, any function attached to any. Just the UI, okay? Now, um, let's go in and integrate this. So before we do that, I also have this nav drop-down. Um, to show maybe on top when you check the UI you see you want to display something here and that is a navbar start and a navbar end 
So we can actually um, paste it there where you want to actually add it. So let's go to let's also create another component and it's going to be the nav drop down. So maybe I can paste it in here and that's a nav drop down. And uh, this has just a f um, input test as such. It has a div as a drop down and in that you have um, report issue, update profile and now log out. Very simple one. You see? Okay, so now let's go in there to our main layout and I integrate this in there. So for us to do that, let's go to our main layout. And now from the sidebar content, we want to add our um, sidebar component. Then from our nav bar end, we also want to add our nav drop down. So that is a nav drop down. We can add that here. Seems like we are not having this. We have it, but we are not seeing it in here. Nav drop down, it is the same. So maybe we can add the same reference to this. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's all that things that we need to do. Now let's run this or let's refresh this and now check it out. That's great. So this is what we have. You will see that there is the, the accordion so we can hide and open and we have this add update delete and view so this is what i did you can actually customize it to suit what you want you can integrate a bootstrap um, element in this you have categories and you have um sales aside from that we have report payments and so these are just um, there is no function attached to this so if i click on this nothing will happen <laughs> you see that nothing will happen yes and aside from that, you see, you can just hide and show. And now this, if I click on this, you see we have report issue, update profile, and I log out. There's also a search that you can type in something to um, search that. Okay. Now aside from that, let's check the, the UI. So from here, you can also, you see, you have the same thing. Click on this, you have the drop down. Then you can hide and I'll show. You see this? then see this working fine as in the um the big view okay so now let's see how do you work with this main um a page like this how do you work with that and in that remember that yeah we specified the body so all components are going to be rendered through the body is going to be shown in there so these are going to be static for all the uh, for the entire application this is going to remain um, static for all the components are going to render because all these components are rendering through this body so this becomes the layout and it is there okay now let's change this to light and check this on out as well so if you want the light section or the light team see and check it out and now make a choice <laughs> yeah so that is a light team let me open it widely you can see there's a light you have the the search button on top you have this down here drop down then there's a light you have this so you can see we have the nav bar light on top that's it. the bar here becomes what light and that is it so you can switch between um, the dark and a light but i prefer using the dark <laughs> yes i prefer the dark okay now let's go to the home page and let's try to um have something in here Okay, so with the home page, the first thing to do here is we're going to specify that is a we have three sections and now two sections. Now three sections you have the first column as column nine and then column three. You know, in a row, bootstrap gives us the access of twelve, right? So we have three nine and three making twelve. Or you can see we have column twelve making the entire page. We also have footer. Let's use the two sections. So here you have two section template and our two section template you're going to specify column 12 template so everything that you're going to specify is going to be column 12 aside from that you can specify your footer template down here so footer template and i can specify your footer in there so i have something <laughs> something small for the footer and that is this one just a test net right by net code hub 
then I have this uh, test center. Now from this, I copied this content from um, Bootstrap because I want to use this to show you how you can um, work with this. Okay, so let me just grab this from and I'm pasting in here. You can see just a test, okay? Just a test that I'm displaying. And I can see in the column 12 template, then we have a footer template. So now if I save this, now rerun this and I let's check this out. Yeah, so you can see that in the mobile view, we have it displayed nicely in here with a, um, this uh, scroll bar as well. And it's working fine, right? Now, from, as you can see, we have the footer that is um, in the middle. Now, if I check to the, the bigger picture, you can see we have it in a nice way. So you can see that you can actually work with this. Now, if I click on this, it gets you to the full screen. Now, if I click on this, it's going to shrink it. And now it's, it's working um, nice. Okay. So let's see if I have another one like maybe the counter. Let's see how to work with the counter. Now, to work with the counter, what we're going to do here is you cannot do it without having this template. Okay. The template should be a layout for all. So go to the counter. And now from this counter, instead of this, maybe what you're going to do here is you're going to specify, let's say this is template. So we have two session template. Then we have column 12 template. And maybe you can still have the footer down here. So that's the reason why you need to create a photo as component. So you can be using it all over the pages that you want. Instead of just copying this, you can just create a component for that. And for this, I want you to do it. <laughs> okay. For me, I'm going to just copy and paste it and leave it there as it is. Okay. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move this one, this UI down here. So only move the UI, not the code. Okay. So move the UI. All right. Now let's use same to the layout and that's going to be the weather forecast you have it in here now this weather forecast from this page title we want to have two session template then column 12 then we can have our footer as well you can decide to skip the footer but you know i want to add it every page that you visit so you make sure you display footer in there so i'm going to copy this to the weather footer down here then i'm going to move this this UI from this to the end. You make sure you copy only the UI. Do not copy the code itself, only the UI. That's what you need to render in the template. Okay, so that is this one. Now let's save it. Now, in order to do this, I want us to have a reference with this. So let's go to the sidebar component. And in the sidebar component, maybe I can just copy and paste two links in here. Let me copy this and I'll make duplicate. So I'm going to say this is weather and now um, this is an anchor tag. So we can reference it to this weather. And now let me say this is weather. Okay. Now the next one here, this is counter. So we can have counter. And now reference to the counter component. Okay. Now if I save this and I let's check this out. Okay. So that's from the, the mobile view. Now if I click on this, you can see we have the counter and I have the weather in here. If I click on this, you can see we have the counter in here, right? Now let me open it widely for you to see. You can have the counter and if I click on it, it's, it's working. You see this? Now, if I click on, let's say, let me minimize this. Now, if I click on weather, we have the weather displayed nicely in here. You see this? Yes. And if I click on this, it's going to give you the full view in here. And now this is working. So you can just click on this. You can just hide and unshow that and it's working perfectly. You see this? Yes. So that is a way to, there are lots more to this, but for the basics, this is what you all need to start it up. All right. So um, I'm going to end here, and that is it for this video. Um, you can grab the source code from the. Um, is in the video description? <laughs> yes. So if you want to grab this, if you want to grab what I've done here, 
you can do that or you can install the template and then try to customize it to suit how you want it okay based on what you want to do all right so i'm going to catch up again so then take care